everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Skulls of the Shogun Bonified Edition. <laughs> so, as many of you may know, in the last video we just passed through the first gate of the afterlife. So now I think we are officially out of limbo and in the afterlife. I don't know, it, it certainly looks a lot nicer than the last area did. So let's go ahead and check out Sakura's uh, Solace, or whatever this place is called. I know the, like, spirits and ghosts or whatever, like, like Sakura herself, have a big impact on this game, so... I just don't exactly remember what it is, and I have no idea why these people are trying to cut down this tree. I, th I think it might be, like, a, a practice thing? I don't know, let's see. Whoa, 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 huh? Wee -hee -hee! Who knew chopping down trees would be so much fun? Oh no, they're actually just straight up trying to chop down this tree. Yeah! I can't wait until the, that imposter shows up and finds the path blocked. Oh no, don't chop down the tree! Then we ambush that big phony and rip that stupid fake mustache off his stupid fake face. What a jerkwad. Oh, looks like they're a little late. Uh-oh. Oh yes! Yes, General Akamoto, destroy them all! Thank you for saving my cherry tree, brave warrior! I am Sakura, guardian of this land of eternal blossoms. Allow me to aid you in your quest. You are most welcome, my lady, but I cannot allow you to fight. It would be most dishonorable. Tee, you are so cute! No, I don't do battles, but I can still help with some advice. Haunt any fox shrine to gain a fox monk. Oh yeah, we can get fox monks of our own. Foxes can wield magic, including the ability to heal units. But be wary, should an enemy haunt the same shrine, you will lose your fox monk ally. Oh shoot. Okay, so I guess he would swap to- he swaps to whatever team is possessing the shrine. This news pleases me! Many thanks, Sakura! The pleasure is all mine, Tihi! Until we meet again! Bye-bye, well, Sakura. Nice, boss! She's totally hot for you! No, she just- I- I mean- <clears throat> Less talking, more marching! Move out! Oh no, we're not even gonna eat those skulls? God damn it, that makes me sad. Ah, there's the fox shrine. There's two of them. One top and one bottom. I presume we want to take the one up top, because that one looks like it would be easier for us to access. More purple meddlers. Stand aside or be cut down. Impossible. They thwarted my ingenious ambush plan. But how? Maybe you should have put more than two men over there. Halt! You face General Ro Romeoka, lord and ruler of this land. Yield now or prepare to die your dying death. Ha! I like you. I will eat your skull last. Oh, that totally means we have to eat his skull not last or before the other guys. Lord, I see a fox shrine in the corner to the north. I believe I can reach it in a single move. Well, let's go ahead and do that then, buddy. Let's haunt this, uh, fox shrine. Hopefully, fox shrines don't require rice? I'm not sure whether they do or don't. But there definitely is these sh these soldier shrines here. So let's go ahead and haunt those. So we can work on getting additional rice to, um, use on units in the future. It'll suck to keep one of our archers away from our army, but I think it might be a good idea to move this guy up. So we could go ahead and haunt both of these rice fields on the next turn as well. Obviously, the more rice fields that we haunt, the more we'll be able to use in the future. Seeing as our guy can only... Actually, you know what? Let's play it safe and move him back here instead. And, of course, that will end our turn. Which is good, because uh, that archer guy will work out fine back where he's chilling, I think. Nice to see that they're actually not going for their... Oh, no, they're sending him towards the fox shrine. God damn it. Okay, so we're not going to be able to use both of those. Um, but we, we got two rice shrines off the bat. Ah! Numa Numa! Greetings, oh mustachio warrior! Sakura told me to be expected to expect you. This fox monk is yours to command! Shall anyone need healing? Pray 
call upon me. But now that my kind are uh, pacifists, we only we will attack only in self-defense. Namu namu. Okay, that makes sense why he has such a high defense then. If they uh, only attack in self-defense. Fox monks can use their action. X to heal, yada yada yada. Don't need to worry about that. Yeah, they have freaking three defense, which is the same as these guys, so... And for attack, so they're actually pretty damn uh, strong, like we saw in the previous episode. So let's see, can we fire upon guys? No, I oh wait, can we? There was there was like a black marking that went on him. How did I use a move? Sometimes this game really confuses me. Ah, no valid targets. Oh, we got an 80% chance to hit. I think we should take that. Yes! Oh, yes! That is awesome. That's actually a really good hit for us. That means we're going to be able to take out that guy for sure. So that'll be one less patty that they'll use. We could actually hit that guy, though, because he shouldn't counterattack us unless he, um... I mean, because he's uh, possessing a, a shrine. But I think it makes more sense to attack. So let's go ahead and back up as far as we can while still being able to kill him. Then we can move our guy farther back. Um... I don't know if moving him back matters all that much, though, mainly because obviously he's going to be able to move on this next turn no matter what. But let's go ahead and start possess uh, haunting a couple more shrines. We could haunt that one with that dude without too much of a worry, I think. Uh, ooh, shoot, that cavalry man can get up to our archer, so that's actually pretty scary. Let's move this guy up so uh, we could plan to use him in the future. And how far can these dudes move? Um... Not far enough to hurt anyone except for maybe this unit right here. So I'm feeling pretty safe in that regard. Uh, let's move the Fox monk, monk up. I think it'll be a good idea to move him forward so we could use his healing capabilities in the future if need be. Uh, oh, shoot! He's trying to haunt our patty? That's actually freaking awesome! What if... They're haunting patties! Really? Oh, yes, and we got a miss! That's a really good start for us, to say the least. Holy cow! Uh, the enemy was not being very smart on that turn, I would say. Let's see, so, let's try- I want to kill our enemies with leaving one of them alive, if, if we can. So let's- let's try to do that. Um... Let's not attack with our archer. Actually, should we? I don't know, let's see. Let's see, how, how, how can we kill this guy? Can we kill that guy in two hits without using the archers? No, we can't. Um, we could, of course, awaken the general to try to do that, but I don't think that's a smart idea. So let's just, let's just get rid of that guy quick and easy. So, uh, hit him like that, then we could use that guy to finish him off. But who would I rather have eat a skull on this turn? You know what, actually, let's wait on that a little bit more. We'll move that guy there, attack the one that is possessing a shrine, because he can't counterattack us. Um, move him back a little bit. Oh, no, I can't get through that because of the spirit wall. That's a little bit sucky. Uh, what if I, like, went around like that? Yes! Yes! Clever management! Uh, we'll beat him up the side of the head then. Our guy is still in the tall grass, so he should be at least somewhat safe. And, oh, but, no, 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 we have two actions left on this turn still, okay. So I think that this dude, the guy that we just put there, who's kind of in the middle of a bunch of the enemies, I think he actually should still be okay. That archer can attack him, that guy can attack him, and this archer down there can attack him, but I think that that guy might focus on possessing more uh, shrines, so I don't think we need to worry about him. Let's finish that guy off, so we don't have to worry about that. And then next turn, I think we actually should be able to buy, like, a lot of really good units, which is actually absolutely glorious for us. They've actually even awakened the general at this point, because I would imagine they're probably a little bit desperate, to say the least. So let's see, that's gonna be a hit on him as well, but he'll be perfectly fine. Oh no! No, he won't be perfectly fine. That's so sad. I was gonna say we could give him uh, some skulls to eat, but obviously that won't be uh, in the cards for us now. So let's just go ahead and finish off that dude. God damn, those guys are really tanky. I didn't know that they, I forgot that they were that tanky. So let's go ahead um, and use two archers on him, might as well. Wait, oh no! Oh, I'm such an idiot. Why did I put him in, in within range? Why does he only do two damage to him when the other guy did three? Uh, that confuses me. Is it, a, is it a health problem? It shouldn't be a health problem. Let's see, six, five. 
Maybe it is a health problem. Let's actually go ahead and heal him then. See if that will increase his damage potential for whatever reason. Uh, because it would be nicer to kill- Yeah! Apparently guys deal damage according to their health! I did not know that about this game. So obviously that'll be a very, very important detail to remember from here on out. Um, let's... Beat up the archers. Okay, is there any tall grass that we could put them in? Oh yes, okay, that's really, really good. This guy is almost certainly gonna die, unfortunately, this cavalry man that we have right here, because unless they get a lot of misses, he's kind of in a scary spot. But you know, that'll be okay. And then let's... Oh, I should have attacked that one. Damn, well, that's a mistake on my part. Uh, I don't want to possess a shrine. shrine. I would like to eat a skull, my good sir. Grow almighty and powerful. And then uh, go into the tall grass. We actually might be able to beat this guy. Without, um... Oh, they actually summoned a unit. No! Our guy fell. Oh, and he's healed now, so that was pointless. That sucks. Luckily, our dude was able to uh, get a counterattack on him, though. This gen the general we're facing right now actually only has one sword, I think. Uh, no, it looks like he has two. Yeah, he ate a skull and fought that turn, so that's why he was able to do that. Uh, Gua! How dare you! Do you know who I am? I am connected! I know people! My master, the great General Akimoto, commands the entire samurai afterlife. Fool! I am General Akimoto. The man you speak of is my treacherous lieutenant, Kurakawa. What? I... I refuse to believe it. My master is strong and brave. He has slain many powerful warriors. Your master couldn't slay a cupcake with a mallet. I've had enough of your lies, you lying liar! Nice. I always like that threat. So let's see, we could do three damage to that guy right off the bat. I really would love to kill him if we can. Um, so let's see. Let's go ahead and have him eat that skull. We'll make him like a really beefy guy. Obviously next turn he will become a demon, seeing as he doesn't die, but it, but seeing as how much health he has and the fact that he's in the tall grass, I think he should be safe. Uh, let's go ahead and summon another archer. That means we might be able to use three. Oh, yes! Okay, so let's see. Uh, okay, we could get him to an 80% chance hit. Oh, and it's still missed! That's what, that, that's the thing about this game. I, this game, the 80% chances in this game really don't feel like 80% chances. Like, they, they feel like they're much lower than that. But it is still a 20% chance to miss, which actually is everything considered pretty high. So let's see. Next turn, that general should almost certainly be dead. He's gonna... Oh, shoot! He does five damage, though! Uh, he killed two of our guys! Two of the guys that we were gonna use to try kill him. That really sucks. Uh, our archer is still alive, though, so I actually... I actually have faith that we could still kill that general on this next turn. It's just a little bit sucky that things had to play out the way that they did. Uh, we got a ton more rice. Oh, but not enough to summon another archer. That means we're gonna rely on the cavalry man and the archer that we already have. How much damage does he deal now? Five. So let's go ahead and, of course, heal him. Get him a little bit healthier. Uh, so hopefully that'll bring him to six. Six! Wonderful, okay. So then we'll move him back. Uh, 80% chance still, but it's a hit! Awesome! It's, uh... What, what do they say in Star Wars? They just say, it's a hit, I'm pretty sure. They're like, it's a hit! I don't know, that actually might be in the Star Tours ride rather than Star Wars. Let's finish this. Yes! We got him! Suck it, General, whatever your name was. Remember when I said I'd kill you last? I lied. Teehee! I knew you were the real Akamoto. You're so strong and brave. You flatter me, Sakura! The path ahead will not be easy, but I know you will defeat Kurakawa. Goodbye for now, my gallant warrior! Ah, uh, she gave us a wink! That's how you know she likes us. So that dog, Kurakawa, has everyone convinced that, that he is actually me! Except Sakura! She believes you! Why is that, I wonder? Oh, uh, well, I... that's not... Uh... <coughs> Enough chatter! Onwards! Oh yeah, maybe we had uh, a romantic relationship with Sakura, that'd be pretty baller. Seeing as we're freaking 
ge like skeleton general and she's like a goddess or something like that. Did we level up? Hmm, not quite, unfortunately, but we're getting pretty close. That's pretty cool. We got, oh yes! A uh, Hyger one, uncommon. That's pretty cool. I'm getting way too into these emblems, but I like collecting things and a Chrome Monk. Chrome Monks are really cool. I cannot wait until we get to those characters in this game because they are very, very, very effective units. We didn't get any of those? Beat level with at least two monk allies still alive. Okay, so we need to possess the other monk for, monk shrine for that. Beat level with at least 1,000 rice. Beat level without losing any units. Are, they seriously didn't make one killing the general... I mean, not killing the general... For, for killing the general before finishing off everyone else. They totally missed that... That, um, Commando reference. I mean, they already did it once, but I think they could have gone all the way and made it, uh, for one of those golden skulls as well, but... But yeah, we've been, uh, plowing through the missions so far! We've, we've been doing a pretty damn good job of, uh, succeeding in everything. Looks like we're gonna have, like, two more before getting to the next gate of the afterlife or all that, uh, and all that jazz. So, should be, um... An exciting future for us in the series and all that jazz. So yeah, anyways, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, comment, and or subscribing if you have not. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer, and I will see you all next time.